I know why you've come here. I know what you're looking for. But what I still have to ask, Taurus, is who are you? Welcome, Saints and Sinners fans, and welcome to How to Turn On Cinema Mode. Now, in this video, I'm not only going to show you what Cinema Mode does, but I'm going to show you in a nice step by step guide on how to turn it on. I'll also put everything in the description of the video as well, so you've got it in text format and a nice, easy video for you to use. Now I've done a video on Cinema Mode before, but it's before the Quest 2 came out. And I just got inundated with questions. My phone was like going, ba-ding, 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 ba-ding. And I was like this, trying to answer everyone. So I decided to take that video down, redo one, answering all your questions. So, answer number one. Cinema Mode is not a mode for you to go and turn on and go and play each level and complete the game. I mean, you can, but you'll have to do it in one go because you cannot save your game in Cinema Mode at the moment. Use Cinema Mode for exploring areas that you didn't really want to go into while you're playing the game. You know, the, for me, it's the dark areas of the school. I hated doing all that, but Cinema Mode, you're almighty, all powerful, and you can go in there, do what you want to do, go and explore, see what you can find. Or use it the other way by turning these into weapons and literally poking and chopping and punching zombies until they're dead. It's so much fun. Right, answer number whatever. PlayStation players, this at the moment is not available and you can't activate this on PlayStation at the moment i'm not saying it's never not at the moment quest 2 users you will need to play this using the link cable or through a virtual desktop but you will need to play the pc vr version the meat grinder edition at the moment it's not available on the trial mode or the quest 2 version but but big but there are rumours that the developers are looking at bringing more stuff to the Quest 2. I'm not saying they are 100% going to bring it, but there are rumours that they are looking at bringing it at some point, and I don't know when that point is. As soon as they do, I will bring a video out, I will show you how to do it, so don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on that. Okay, I think that's everything. If I haven't, if I've missed something, just ask again and I'll uh, I'll answer it. So, before I show you exactly what files you need to change and everything like that, I'm going to give you a little sneak preview of what you you can look forward to while you're in cinema mode. If you don't want to watch that and you're fed up with hearing me talk, you want to get straight to um, editing the files, just go straight to this time here. And then you're done. Anyway, have fun with it. Don't forget, comment below what you did. Even, you know, send me links to your videos. Oh, to turn it on, once you've activated it, everything in the files, just press your start button. Go down to cheats. You'll get this new bit will come up at the bottom. Go down to cheats. Turn everything on. I'm not going to talk you through what everything does. They're all fun. But this one here, I think you know what that does. Of course you do. If this video has helped you out, please don't forget to subscribe. It really helps the channel out. And also a big thumbs up and drop some comments below. Love chatting to you all you lot and especially the ones that are playing this game. Oh, another thing before I go. If you want to know how to unlock all the angel statues or you want to know how to get into any safe codes... Uh, sorry, you want to find the safe codes and you want to know how to where the safes are, everything like that. 
I've literally, I've unlocked everything. So I'm max on that. I'm max on that. I'm max on that. I've got a couple of recipes to find, but I didn't really need them. Um, everything you want to unlock, I've got videos on it all. So go check out the channel. Really appreciate your support. And I'll, uh, I'll see you around. Right. Have fun. Oh, yes. Next. Yes. Wanna fight, huh? Fight me! Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed that little clip. Just a little something to show you what cinema mode is all about. It's so much fun making it and you'll have so much fun using it. And like I said before, I'm going to show you step by step how to turn this on and what files to edit. Before we begin, if you can't find any of the files that I'm showing you, they may be hidden. So go into your settings and uh, allow or show hidden files. If you don't know how to do that, just Google it. I'm not going to waste any time. It's really nice and simple. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is go into your C drive. Once in your C drive, go down to users, select your user, then go to app data. This folder may be hidden, so this is one of the ones you may have to uh, unhide. Really easy to do. Double click app data, then local, then go down all the way to TWD. Double click, go to saved, it's the only one. Go into config, windows, no editor. Then go down to game user settings. Double click it, it will just open up in a notepad. If it doesn't open up in notepad, just right click and then select open with notepad. Once in Notepad, go down and find this line, B Sinner False. Okay, if it says false, it means it's turned off. Really easy. All you got to do, just delete false and type in true. And that's it. Sinner mode is on. Well, it is once you close this down or save it. Once you close it down, it'll ask you to save anyway. If you want to turn cinema mode back off, just reverse and then put cinema mode or B center, sorry, false. Save it again. It's really that simple. I'll put everything in description as well. So if you want to copy any of the file names or anything like that, it'll all be there for you. Don't forget, drop me a comment below. Let me know how you got on and what you got up to. 
you're going to do some crazy stuff and I just want to laugh at what you get up to. If you've got any videos out there, tag me in them, send me them, show me on Instagram, TikTok, just let me know. I'd love to see what you get up to. Anyway, thanks for taking time and watching this video and um, I'll see you around soon. Thanks a lot. Bye.